Now, if the theory is telling us, the theory for this experiment is telling us that t squared should be plotted against what? L P. Always remember to compare with y equal to mx plus what? C. Plus C. This is very important. Because when you start asking some questions, some kind of question evaluating this, evaluating that, you usually get it from comparing this relationship. Now from the graph, plotting t squared against L Q, y will be what? T squared is not so. X will be what? M will be what? All these plenty play, things inside the bracket is not so. And remember we said that M is the slope of the graph, isn't it? So for this your graph, you want to know that the slope is equal to what? 4 pi squared n divided by what? 3 e r. All these things are important as you are running this experiment so that once you finish, if they say evaluate this from the graph, evaluate that from the graph, okay, you would know exactly what you're doing. Like in one of the questions there, I think they said, what is the only rules, right? Okay, let's go back to the instruction. Determine, start from that, determine something. Good, it means the slope S of the what? Yes. Okay. Continue. So this is the continuum, you know. Okay. Measure the what the instructions say. Okay, the width and the what. Now look at the width. Are you seeing it from there? The width is from here to here. Do you understand that? And the thickness. The width, can we see from there? Is from here, this side to this side. And the thickness is from the top to the under. You use my kilometer square gauge to measure it. So that gauge will be given to you. Are you getting it right? It will be given. It will be what? Given. I hope you're communicating. So you have the micrometer square Measure it and read the value. You need to use it for your calculation. Now proceed in the theoretical instruction in the procedure. Now you are meant to evaluate k equal to what? 4 by square. Over what? Over x. Over x. I hope I follow you. K equal to 4 by 2 over x. Move on, move on, move on, move on. Alright, I'm probably about the value, so I'll move on to the other instruction. Now you are required to evaluate E equal to what? 4K. 4K and then times N divided by what? BDQ. You know what this guy is, right? The width, the thickness. The definitions of those things are given to you, they all below that. Correct. Now, if you are to evaluate E in the instruction, you will be told the meaning of E already. How do you follow it, right? What does E represent in that instruction? They are going to this. So the theory is everything you are going to do in the lab is nothing new. They are there for you, are you getting it right? So how can we now evaluate our young models? You need the value of K. You need the value of what? N. What is N in the first place? So you go to the instruction as well and you will find out what is the value of N? The value now. 100 grams, is that not so? Which is this mass, okay? So written on this, you see 100 grams. However, your examiner can decide to change it. They can give you 50 grams, and then you get to me, right? That will deal with it in the lab or right here. My communication. So we know our n. Our k is obtained from here. I hope you're aware of that. So k is obtained from here. Because k is equal to 4 pi squared divided by what? Move on. Okay, okay, it's the theory now, right? So these are the things you have to find. I think that's all. We'll be able to digest this what? This, this theoretical uh, um, instruction that has been given the methods. So you know the things you're going to calculate after running the what? Experiment. Looking at the things you say you calculate, the main thing you are doing is get your slope. Once you get your slope, you calculate what? K. After you get K, you can now get what? E. B and D are values you measure. Are you getting it right? N is your what? Mass. So that is it. Now what is left is doing the experiment and getting the what? Yeah. How I brought out. No, nothing is. Nothing is.
is there? This is multiplication. I also know that, right? This is 4 pi squared, r cube initial that you have in there, then n outside. It's multiplication. And multiplication does not respect order of arrangement. This is the remaining of one. So it's like three, the same as what? Three times. So I had to rearrange it in this form. Is that clear? Now it's time to come and practice this now. And it has set this. Now this is at 90, you are going to adjust it. Because the instruction says you start from here, 70, even it. The free edge should be 70. Get your stopwatch ready. You can use your phone's stopwatch. I have my stopwatch here. I don't know the one they're going to give to you in the lab, but I think in recent time. But I guess, I don't know, it's as if they've introduced this one or so. You have the start and stop key, okay? The, the battery of this one is way. Just that to change. But you can use your phone's stopwatch, get it set. That day you use the one that we provide. So at each point in time, I will have somebody to volunteer to come out and adjust this setting. I want someone to volunteer to come out and adjust this setting. The first experiment, they say the length should be what? 70. 70, not so. Yes. Uh, somebody should come and adjust this thing because this thing I said here is not at 70. It's not at 70. I'll assist you. Sorry. 